Do you want to know the secret ingredient that all of the most powerful hair regrowth supplements have in common? What's crazy is that this ingredient has been right under your nose and you probably didn't even realize it. The ingredient I'm talking about is silicon and it's probably the most underappreciated hair regrowth supplement out there. But give me a few minutes and I'll explain to you what it does and why all of the best hair supplements out there contain this one ingredient. First off, what is silicon? It's the third most abundant trace element inside of the human body and the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust. And this is exactly why nobody seems to care about it. Because humans come into contact with silicon on a daily basis, it's incredibly rare to experience a deficiency in this element. But just because you are exposed to it often doesn't mean you have the optimal levels necessary for the proper regulation of your hair, skin, and nails. And certain manufacturers of hair supplements have figured this out, which is why silicon makes its way into the most popular hair regrowth supplements in some form or another. I'm talking specifically about the supplements Nutrafol and Viviscol. If you were to search for hair regrowth supplements on Amazon, these two supplements would rank right at the top with thousands of reviews each. But what's crazy is that there's nothing revolutionary about the formulas found inside of these supplements. They're simply taking advantage of the benefits that silicon can provide. Later on in this video, I'll show you exactly how they sneak silicon into their formulations. But for now, let's focus on silicon for just a second. So how does this trace element or trace mineral help you with your hair? Well, it turns out we aren't completely sure, but we do know a few things. Number one, it's primarily concentrated in your hair, skin, and nails, which indicates all by itself that it's required for the regulation of these tissues. Based on this fact alone, we can make an educated guess that if silicon levels are low, that these tissues will suffer the consequences. And that is exactly what we see in the real world. And number two, we know that silicon seems to work by helping other nutrients on the hair follicles do their job more efficiently. This is critical because there are so many other nutrients aside from silicon that are required for the proper regulation of hair growth. Some of these include vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, zinc, selenium, and even iron. By enhancing the effectiveness of all of these other supplements, this makes silicon probably the most effective nutrient for hair regrowth. And that's because it doesn't really matter what type of hair loss you have, silicon is working in the background to help all the other nutrients work more effectively, which means it's beneficial for all types of hair loss. And number three, silicon has been shown in studies to have a direct impact on hair function. Silicon is concentrated in the outer shaft of the hair follicle where it helps reduce hair fall when taken. Additional studies have shown that taking silicon can increase the shine, luster, and brightness of hair as well. And by the way, these are just the benefits that silicon has on your hair. I didn't mention all the additional benefits that it has on your skin and nails, which work by roughly the same mechanism. But let's go back to the two supplements I mentioned previously so I can show you exactly what I was talking about. Let's start with Nutrafol first. Nutrafol is one of the best hair supplements out there, and at first glance, if you were to look at the ingredient list, it would appear to be very complex. In fact, you can see it here. And notice a couple things as we look at this. Number one, the serving size is four capsules. So for a four serving capsule size, you can fit between 2,000 and 2,800 milligrams worth of stuff or ingredients. Number two, when you look at the ingredients more closely, you will see that two proprietary blends make up the bulk of the dosing found inside of each serving. And by the way, in case you aren't aware of this, proprietary blends are a method that manufacturers use to hide the exact concentration and the exact ratio of ingredients. So we don't know the exact ratio or ingredients that are found in these proprietary blends, but we do know they make up the bulk of the dosing. And that's because the first blend contains 1,680 milligrams and the second contains 530 milligrams. When you combine these two together, that equals roughly 2,200 milligrams, which is the bulk of the entire dosing in each serving. Because based on the order of these ingredients, we see that the marine hydrolyzed collagen, the solubilized keratin, and the horsetail extract are among the top ingredients. And guess what? These are all naturally occurring sources of silicon. We can't tell exactly how much silicon is in each serving of the Nutrafol, but based off the numbers I shared previously, we can make an educated guess that silicon forms the bulk of the entire serving. And maybe you're not convinced with this example, so let's move on to number two, which is Viviscol. 
Viviscal is another top hair regrowth supplement found on Amazon or anywhere else, and it follows the same pattern as Nutrafol. Viviscal has a much smaller serving size at just one capsule per serving, but it has similar ingredients. We see that their Aminomar Marine Complex contains 475 milligrams of shark cartilage and oyster extract. And just like the first example I shared with you, shark cartilage is a naturally occurring source of silicon. When you consider that each serving of Viviscal contains 500 to 700 milligrams worth of stuff or ingredients, and that 475 milligrams worth of that stuff contains a naturally occurring source of silicon, it's easy to make the case that silicon is doing most of the heavy lifting here. Again, we don't have the exact numbers of silicon for each of these ingredients, but based off some educated reasoning and some logic, we can come to the conclusion that silicon makes up the bulk of the dosing here. And there's a reason for that. Silicon works. If it didn't, these supplements wouldn't be used by hundreds of thousands of people each and every day. Does this mean you should run out there and buy these supplements as soon as possible? Not exactly. The question you should really be asking yourself is how can I get more silicon into my body so I can take advantage of these benefits? And that's where things get a little bit tricky. In order to get silicon into your body, you have to solve the problem of absorption. And this absorption problem stems from something called polymerization. Polymerization is a process by which small molecules chemically combine with one another to form a chain-like network. And when compounds polymerize, they aren't absorbed and they just get eliminated out of the stool. And this problem is actually really difficult to deal with because you can't just take more to solve the problem. The more you take, the higher the dose, the more likely it is to polymerize and the less that actually gets absorbed. And that's exactly why the absorption rate of silicon ranges anywhere from 1% all the way up to 50% depending on the source and the form. This is also why you don't really see silicon listed as a top ingredient in any hair regrowth supplement. It's not that silicon doesn't work or that they don't want to include it. It's just that it comes hidden in other ingredients because the absorption of that ingredient is better than the absorption of taking silicon alone. And we actually have a list of various types and sources and forms of silicon to determine which is absorbed best. And naturally, I'm going to share that with you right now. The number one most highly absorbed form of silicon comes as MMST or monomethylsilane triol, which clocks in with an absorption rate of 64%. That may not sound that high, but it blows pretty much everything else out of the water. The second, believe it or not, is green beans with an absorption rate of 44%. The third is orthosilicic acid with an absorption rate of 43%. The fourth is an ingredient called choline stabilized orthosilicic acid with an absorption rate of 17%. And finally, for comparison, bananas come in at about 4%. You can get a lot of your silicon that you need daily from foods, but you're always gonna get much more from supplements because of the difference in absorption. And if you want to make sure that you can take advantage of the benefits that silicon provides to your hair, skin, and nails, you need to make sure that you're using the right form. And you don't need a relatively obscure form of silicon like marine collagen to do that. You can if you want, but remember, silicon is found in all sorts of different supplements, foods, and ingredients. Based off of absorption rate alone, my recommendation to you would be to find a silicon supplement that contains silicon as MMST or monomethylsilane triol. And that's because it's the most highly absorbable form and the more of it that you take, the less likely you are to experience that polymerization problem I mentioned earlier. But this begs the question, how much should you take every day? And this topic is actually up for debate because no one really knows, but most people agree that somewhere between 10 and 25 milligrams of silicon is an ideal range to shoot for. This is just the bare minimum though, because we know that some people have reported better benefits by taking doses much higher than 25 milligrams every day. How much silicon you need to take every day will also depend on the type of food that you're eating. The primary food sources of silicon are all plant-based, which is great if you're already on a plant diet, but not so great if you're on a low-carb keto or carnivore diet. If you are on one of these low-carb, low-plant diets, then doses as high as 40 milligrams may be worthwhile. If that's the case, then you may want to consider taking more silicon. We have some reports of people taking as much as 40 milligrams per day on these low carb diets and seeing great results. The next time you're checking out supplements for hair regrowth, make sure you look for the ingredient silicon and be aware that sometimes it can be hidden inside of other ingredients. And by the way, if you're suffering from hair loss right now, I'd recommend checking out this video next, 
which talks about many of the common supplements that you might be taking, which can actually make hair loss worse.